Hey guys, my name is Rukila and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video for you because I will be showing you what's on my iPhone, all my favorite apps I like to use and I can't imagine my real life without. So if you just want some new app ideas to download on your phone or if you're just interested what's on my iPhone then keep on watching. But before we jump right into the video, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what are your favorite apps to use. So right now I have an iPhone XS and I just have the simple Apple phone case in pink because this is my favorite color. So this is how my lock screen looks like and now we will go into my home screen. So I like to organize my apps into little folders because I tried it with my last phone and I just realized that this way of organizing my phone, putting all the apps into folders, really helps me to find the apps really quickly because I just know where every app is. So I just have 8 folders on my home screen, 4 in one page and 4 in the other page. And about this wallpaper, I usually find my wallpapers on Pinterest and of course it's hard to find ones that has good quality but it is possible so i usually search for wallpapers there or i just use my own photo that i took but this one is from pinterest and i love it so much so yeah i guess now we will just get onto the apps and see what's on my phone so the first folder is called must and I just have all the apps that basically I use almost every single day, just all the basic iPhone apps that I really, really like to use. So we just have mail, weather, safari, camera, photos, settings, calendar, reminders, and clocks. Then I have my social media folder where I keep all my social media apps and all my social medias are linked down in the description, so feel free to follow me. So I just have Facebook which I mostly use for Facebook groups because there are a lot of amazing groups for YouTubers. Then I have Messenger where I mostly chat with my friends. And then we have Instagram and I'm really trying to be more active there. So you should definitely follow me there if you haven't because I'm really trying to gain some new followers. But you know how hard it is to gain followers on Instagram. So just go follow me. Then I have Pinterest which is my favorite app ever. I absolutely love it. And I just use it to find basically inspiration quotes, new ideas for my Instagram. Like if you haven't downloaded Pinterest then just please go and do it because I can't imagine my life without this app. Then I have of course YouTube and YouTube Studio. And if you are a YouTuber and you don't have this app then literally what are you doing? Go and download it because right here it's very easy to respond to all the comments and you see all of your analytics. Like it's just a great app for all the YouTubers so definitely check it out if you don't have it on your phone already. Then I have TikTok and I was one of those people who used to cringe about TikTok all the time and I was like I will never download this app but then I did and I basically got addicted to it so, <laughs> so you should follow me there as well. Then I have TubeBuddy and TubeBuddy is another app which is great for YouTubers. So on this phone app, like the Chrome extension you can have on your computer is way more useful. And if you're a YouTuber and you don't have this extension, I will leave a link down below because it's really great. It helps you to do your keyword research, pick your tags, like it's a really great app. And on this phone app, it shows how many people view your video. But the reason I have this is because it shows all your milestones and they are really cute. It basically shows when your channel has passed a certain amount of subscribers and a certain amount of views. Next, I have Snapchat, which I don't really use. I don't know why I keep it. And then I have Twitter, which I downloaded, but I don't really use it as well, so I don't know. Okay, then I have a useful folder, so in this folder, I keep all my apps that I mostly use basically, not every day, but pretty much often. So the first app is for us girls, which is a period tracker, so it basically tracks your cycle. Then I have Camera Connect, which is an app that you can connect your Canon camera to, so you can basically transfer your pictures from your camera to your phone. And also you can use your phone as a clicker so you can set your camera apart from you and just take photos with your phone through your camera so it's a really great app that Canon has. Then I have Traffic and it shows all the public transport times and schedules in Lithuania and I'm not sure if this app works in other countries but I think it does so 
definitely check it out because it's a great app it shows all the public transport schedules and it also can plan your route so you just enter your starting point and your ending point and it just plans out all the buses you need to take and how much time it takes to get to your destination so it's an absolutely great app then i have just basic iphone notes in which i just basically write everything i need to write and sometimes i make a little list and then I have health, in which I like to track my steps sometimes, you know, it's just for fun. And then I have a really cool app, which I found a few months ago, but I absolutely love it. This app is called Bin, and in this app you basically list all your countries you've been to, and it shows a little map, with, and the countries you visited are in orange color, and if you like traveling like me, then it's real nice to see what countries you visited, and it also shows how many of countries you visited, so I visited 24% of Europe and 5% of the world and you can also uh, turn a 3D mode and it shows like a little planet which is rolling around and it's just really fun so if you love traveling I definitely recommend you checking this app then I have an app called Authenticator which I use to secure my accounts more so you know it's a very useful app and then I have Winted, which is a great app if you want to sell your old clothes. And I'm trying to do this for the longest time, but I just can't force myself to just go and take pictures of my clothes. So I really need to do that, but it's a great app if you want to sell your clothes. Then I have my editing folder and I'm not going to show all the apps with details to you in this video because I'm planning to do like a part 2 of this video and it should be up next week so definitely subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss it and in that video I will show you how I edit my Instagram pictures and my YouTube thumbnails because a lot of people have requested it so I will go in depth about all these apps in that video and I will show you what they do and how I use them to edit my pictures so definitely stay tuned for that but this is just an overview of what apps I use then I have two folders that I don't really use so the first one is called things and these are just basically all the Apple apps that I sometimes do use, but not very often. So I just have voice memos, compass, measure, watch, tip, stocks, calculator, contacts, find my iPhone, home wallet, and shortcuts. And then I have an Apple folder. So these are just basically all the Apple apps, which I sometimes do use actually. So I have Apple TV, App Store, Podcast, Music, iTunes Store, Books, FaceTime, Maps, and Files. And next I have my apps that I use for school. So I have Quizlet, which is a really great app for flashcards and studying, especially if you need to learn like new words for foreign languages and you can make just a little flashcards and also do tests. So it's a really great app for studying. Then I have Duolingo, which is another great app if you want to learn a new language. So I used to learn French on it, but I don't really do that anymore and I'm so sad, uh, but I definitely need to get back to it. And now I also started to learn Danish language, so if you're interested in learning languages, then it's a really great app. Of course, if you really want to learn a language, I would suggest looking for lessons in YouTube because they explain things a little more deeper because on this app sometimes it's hard to understand what they're doing but if you have just a spare 5 minutes and you want to spend them learning the language then it's a really great app next I have a Lithuanian app and most of our schools use this one to track our grades, homework and stuff like that it's basically everything we need to know about our school we can message our teachers um, they can send messages to us like it's a really convenient app so I have this one and then I have a page app, which is another app for school. So in this app, we can see our timetables. And then we have my favorite folder, which is called self-care. So in this folder, I have all the apps that I use for like mental health and productivity. So the first app I discovered recently, but I absolutely love it. And I don't know how to pronounce it, so you will see the name of it or I will write it on the screen. So I absolutely love the design of this app 
And this app is basically a daily self-care journal. So it asks you questions, what are you grateful for, how is your mood today, so you can just reflect on yourself and know better how you feel and it also reminds you to be grateful. And also you have a lot of exercises like breathing exercise, goals, thoughts, meditation, visualization. So if you just click on it, so it just gives you an exercise you can do to improve your mental health and you can just begin it and it's just a really great app and it has an amazing design and it also gives you some quotes for the day so I absolutely love it. Next I have an app called List To Do and this is a very cute app for creating lists so you can see here that I have a few lists like YouTube and other things and the icons are just really cute and I absolutely love the design in this app and you can just click the things and check off the things you've done so it's a really nice way to just keep track with your to-do list next we have an app called Aloha Bud and in this app you can write all the habits you want to include in your daily life when you turn on this app it shows all the habits you want to do so for example hydrate and it says similar to flowers and plants water helps us grow have you watered yourself today and if you did that you just click check in and it checks and you can also include many different habits for example like break or people and it just asks you different questions that you need to write the answer for like it's just a great app to keep track of your daily habits and then we have the last app which is headspace and this is a meditation app and the only thing I don't like about it is that most of the things aren't free and I don't have a paid version but you definitely can find a few courses that are free so other than almost all the courses being paid I really love this app it has a cute design and I really like the voices of people who guide you through your meditation so if you're into meditation which is a great everyday habit I believe then definitely check out this app so in the down part of my phone, I have phone messages on Spotify because I absolutely love listening to music and I just like how these three green apps match together. So Spotify is an absolutely essential app for me. I love listening to music. I listen to it basically every single day. And if you're interested in what kind of music I listen to, then I have made a video about my summer playlist and I have some absolutely great songs in there. So I will leave the link in the description and you should definitely check it out after watching this video. Okay guys, so that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a nice comment or comment down below what are your favorite apps to use. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this or just more content from me, then definitely hit that subscribe button, join our little family. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.